I'm super excited about Tesla. Uh, I think it's great news. It's good to see them grow up, so to speak. So, hey, my name is Martini Arita. I live in Airbnbs. And we're going to start a flipping and content business. So I hope you guys are ready for all the crazy stuff that's going to happen. So I've got huge news for you for Tesla. Tesla is included in the S&P 500. We've been waiting for this for a couple of months. They um, passed on index exclusion in their last month, but this time they've decided they're going to include it. Index inclusion is decided by an S&P 500 committee. They meet monthly. They're super secretive. So it's interesting to hear what's come out of it. So what is the index? It's the 500 biggest companies by market cap. In the U.S., it's not international. What is market cap? So you just take shares outstanding. Now make sure it's shares and you multiply it times the market price, and then you sort by all the biggest companies, and then you can build the index. There are some exceptions. The company must be profitable, and sometimes the S&P uh, can tend to be a little testy about it. I remember a couple of years ago, they decided that Snap, uh, Snapchat wasn't going to be included because of their share structure and how there wasn't a lot of ownership in it. So sometimes they decide what they want to do with it. It's not always a, these are the rules and this is what we're going to do with them. But it's arguably the best investment strategy uh, that has ever existed. And what's really interesting about the index is you're basically buying highs. And I know everyone says sell low or sell high, buy low, right? But really you're buying highs. You're buying a company that has made it to a select group and it's really proven itself over time. So what happens now? So I did a little research and there's a lot of evidence in the literature that there's going to be a permanent abnormal return uh, after index inclusion. Uh, the suspicion is that there are going to be a lot of funds that have to, are forced to buy the index because they have to track it. And they have to buy it pretty quickly because there's this thing called tracking error. And so if they don't include it soon enough, then you have more of an of a difference between you and the index. Now, I went out there and I saw that there's about $12 trillion in passive index funds. So that means that Tesla's gonna get 12 billion. So that's why when you saw the announcement, the price went up because they're, they're pricing for all that money that's gonna come by. Another thing that the literature says is that for about 20 days afterwards, we'll still see a slight run-up. Now, the real run-up was before. However, uh, we should still see a slight incline. Uh, it should be interesting to see. Let's see if we're right. So I'm super excited about Tesla. Uh, I think it's great news. It's good to see them grow up, so to speak. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.